Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my video. Today we'll be fixing the floppy mirror on the FJ80 series Land Cruiser. Uh, there is it's a common issue with these on both mirrors that the little plastic ears inside that hold the mirror to the body uh, break and it results in this thing flopping around while you're driving like this. And it makes it next to impossible to look out of while you're trying to merge into traffic or change lanes. So I'll show you how to fix this and uh, get these things nice and solid and fixed. So let's get to it. All right, the tools you'll need to do this job are pretty simple. You'll need a paper clip. Uh, I don't have one out here yet, so I've got to go fumble around inside to find one. But just any generic paper clip will do. You'll need some side cutters to cut and shape the paper clip into what we need it to be into a bracket. <laughs> uh, some JD Weld. The one I have has a set time of six minutes. I like this one just because it dries pretty quickly, but there's plenty of other options out there you could use. A little piece of cardboard uh, just to mix the JD Weld on. Uh, uh, something to mix the JD Weld with. I just use a flathead screwdriver. You will need a Phillips screwdriver to remove the mirror, and you will need a drill and a drill bit. Um, the one I have on here is a 1 16th, 1 16th, but there are other sizes that will work, but that's the one, that's the smallest one I had. You just want the hole to be big enough that the paper clip can fit inside of the hole. You will see that in a few minutes, but that's basically it for this uh, job. It's pretty simple, and so let's get to it. So first things first, we need to remove the mirror from the body. So to do that, there is a screw under here. I'll put a picture up so you can see exactly where it is. And that's where you'll use your Phillips screwdriver. So I'll put my screwdriver up in there. I'm gonna loosen this. Oh, see, it's already fallen out. So one of those must have broke. One of the ears must be broken. There goes the screw. So the screw is out. And we'll carefully lift it out. And you wanna be careful because you have your connectors for your power mirror. You want to take note as to what order they go in. It's brown, red, and black. You can take a picture or write it down. Brown, red, black. After that, you got the mirror out and it's free. And what we'll be paying attention to are these ears here. You can see this one's gone. When I bought the car a number of years ago, uh, this mirror, both mirrors were terrible and it just was flopping around. And so I did the fix on this side, which is still looking good. And this side was still intact, but it looks like it finally, the original plastic finally broke away. So it's perfect. I'll show you guys how to fix it and uh, get it back to being a solid unit again. So let me get over to the workbench and we'll get started. All right, so let's get started. So first things first is we are going to clean up this area um, get all the dirt and grime that has built up on it. I just have a paper towel with some bright cleaner sprayed on it and that'll just help. You can already see how dirty it is. Get all the crap off of that. Just want to get the best possible surface for the JB Weld to bond to so it doesn't break again. It's looking pretty clean now. Get all the crud out of there. And now we're ready to drill our holes. So basically all we're going to do here is originally there would have been like a plastic piece that made like a 90 degree angle from here down to there. And these break off. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a paper clip. We're going to cut a piece off and we're going to simulate that 90 degree uh, turn and so in order to get the strongest possible bond we are going to drill a hole this way and a drill going and drill a hole going this way and we'll have and we'll shove the paper clip in there and then we'll JB weld it in there so it, it's a very very tight uh, strong structure like this side I did I don't know three or four years ago and it's not even loose I surprise honestly <laughs> So we'll just do the same thing here. So first we'll get our uh, big, our drill bit. I believe this one is a 1 16th.
Okay, so to get the mirror back on the car, it's a little tricky. The best way that I found to do it is to kind of start on one side. So usually what I'll do is I'll start on this side, get this side locked in, and then I'll kind of finagle this side up and on, and then push it in, and then I'm able to put the screw in. So I will futz around with that and try to get that on, and once I get it on, I'll get back to you guys. All right, I got it installed. It took a little bit of finagling, but you'll get it. You just gotta work both of those hooks and those brackets we made, and you gotta get them right on top. And then it, you'll feel it just kind of pop in and it'll slide into place. And don't forget to put the bolt back in, and don't forget to plug in the motor too. Uh, I've done that before. <laughs> so make sure it's plugged in, finagle it in there, put the bolt in. You can see now, like, it's pretty strong. It doesn't wobble anymore like it used to. And that's basically all there is to it. So you can do this on this side, the passenger side. Um, I, the passenger side seems to be okay still, but this side was driving me nuts. So I had to get this done. So I hope this video can help you out. If you guys have any questions on how to do it, let me know. And thank you for watching.